guys welcome back to my channel I just got out of my um, my last EMDR appointment and um, I just you know I've said this a few times but I kind of wonder at this point if anything that I say um, is going to be anything new or if this is just going to be so repetitive at this point what I can say with confidence is that when we were doing the sessions on grief, that felt very black and white to me in the way that my brain was processing information, processing what was coming in, the trauma. It all just felt very like, this is what it is, this is what we need to tackle. Now that we are on my second session, second or third but I believe it's second session of dealing with my biggest trauma I don't even know how to talk about it because it feels very abstract and it kept coming up in the session like it's almost like envisioning color in your mind instead of complete thoughts instead of um, complete feelings it's just like a color <laughs> so I know there's a word for that but I don't I don't know what the word is um, it just felt it was very I don't even know the word for it like it was very nothing but also very loaded at the same time if that makes any sense whatsoever and here is what I mean by that right so in my last sessions it was very obvious what was coming up it was like okay I see this and I feel this emotion attached to it today excuse me today it was just like images would flash in really quickly and flash out one word would be associated with it and flash out and I compared that to songwriting because I write music and it felt very much like that like maybe you're writing a song about heartbreak and so you see the word heartbreak and then you kind of just like write a song around that one word you start thinking what does that word mean to me like what are the feelings that come up in my body so my brain was not able to hold on to full, complete thoughts. And at the same time, I recognized that my body, I recognized where I was holding on to the tension in my body. And today I recognize that my right side of the body holds a lot more of my tension than my left side. And she said that it's kind of a good, or not kind of, she said it's a really great thing that I am self-regulating in that way. She said, because when people are struggling with maybe nothing coming up in their mind because that does happen when you're dealing with trauma you have a lot of blocks she said that she brings people back by asking them where they feel tension in their body or what they feel in their body and today that was overwhelmingly what I was feeling I didn't again like I said I didn't have full complete thoughts but then I would feel really really fidgety and the next round I would feel like my entire right side of my body tense up and then in the third round I would have a lot of anxiety in my chest so you know you can take that any number of ways what I told her was that I do have you know hesitancy about starting on anti-anxiety medication um, also an antidepressant and I worry that that kind of like hinders my progress and she still believes that it doesn't because it has brought me to a much more functional place in my life with my mind and slowing things down. Um, and I also was like, you know, you also start to have doubts about how do I know that this is working? Like EMDR is not something that you can quantify obviously you have a scale of like what do you feel at this point and then afterwards you know what's your number at this point but there's nothing there's no kind of scale that says oh if this happens then you are good like you have been cured or you have moved past it and I said so I still have these fears of like what happens if one day I just feel overwhelming emotion from one of the things that we have moved past and then I think oh shit I haven't even moved past it but on the other hand, I also said, you know, I kind of feel like maybe the fact that my brain is having a hard time, like, attaching to one specific emotion or instance or memory or whatever, 
maybe that means that I am moving through it and I'm actually making progress. And she said that that is 100% a possibility and sometimes that is a sign of that. So in the beginning, it was very easy to, I mean, memories would just kind of flood in and I did have some holes and some, some black spots when my mind would go blank, but when the memories did come, they were very fueled. They were very emotionally charged. They were very clear. This is what I see. This is what I feel. And I went through a whole cycle with that. Um, and now it's like I'm having, you know, obviously some things come in, but there's not that emotional reaction. So I don't really know what that means. I don't know if it means that I am having a hard time opening up and moving past it or if I'm actually making progress. But I'm just choosing to be gentle with myself, be forgiving with myself, allow the process to work. And I mean, yeah, I don't really know. I just wanted to talk about that today. I almost didn't even make a video, but I wanted to talk about it because I want you to be aware going into it that some sessions, you know, things are clear as day and other sessions, you know, she said things will pop up just like what's happening to you and sometimes you can't make sense of them. Sometimes it causes you later to be more introspective. So it's all so different. There is a formula to the therapy, to the process itself, but there isn't a formula for how your body processes the information and how you move through it. So, I mean, that's all I really want to say. I am on a back road, but I feel like it's a little busier than usual, so I don't want to keep on the video and be distracted. So I'm going to leave you guys with that today, but as always, please continue to leave comments if you have any questions or you have any concerns. I love hearing that these videos have encouraged some of you guys to start with a therapy that makes me super happy because it is a very, it's a very scary thing to start, especially... I mean, trauma in itself is already difficult, but especially if you're dealing with anxiety and depression, sometimes starting things like this can feel all-consuming and it can feel terrifying and it can feel impossible. And so I'm proud of, you know, people who are taking that step and, and realizing this is this can be something that'll be beneficial for you. So that's all for today. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.